Hi. Today's reading in John chapter 13 has Jesus with his friends. Um, it's, it's an interesting passage because we have him washing his disciples' feet, which is an intimate act of touch, physical touch, uh, but also a blasphemous act where he's touching someone's feet. And then there's also betrayal. There's also uh, the command that Jesus has that, uh, that, he, that we love one another, that we truly love one another in a way that, that he has shown us how to love. I think about how we all communicate through physical touch. The, the communication is, uh, uh, is called haptics, uh, the, the way in which we touch and how we communicate. And in this time, we can't really communicate with everyone that we love in that way. And that presents some challenges for us. It, it, it might make us feel isolated. It might make us feel alone. I wanna just encourage you today that the same Christ that sat with his friends is with you today. The Holy Spirit, the presence of a God that is alive and well in us can be our comforter. So in the next few days, as we celebrate or we recognize this Holy Week before Easter, I wanna encourage you to know that Jesus is with you. No matter what you're experiencing or not experiencing without touching one another, he's with us and he, he longs to be with you. We had a friend stop by just the other day to drop off some, some toys for, for Emmett. And uh, they, they stayed a, a distance away and, and, and they said, that's really hard for us not to hug you and, and we're a, a hugging family. You know, I find that true in, in our family. I find that true in our church as well. It's really difficult for a lot of people right now. But remember that even in this very odd season, Christ Jesus, the same one who was with his friends and shared this meal and, 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 and washed their feet, the same touch that he gave them, he can give you today. So be encouraged and as you wait with expectant hope for Easter, know that Jesus is indeed with us.